it started with the verbal. But you know what really happened, what really, really hit home for me was when I started believing the things that he was saying about me. So that kid that always thought that they were bad and they started doing bad things, started saying, well, I'm bad, so maybe he's right. Maybe that's what I am. Maybe I am what he's saying. And it started to just take a toll on my self-esteem and it, you don't realize it right away. It starts chipping at you. And you start saying, oh, well, first it's a joke. Oh, he called me a bitch. Oh, he called me a whore. Oh, he's just joking. Oh, it's just, it's, I'm not that, I'm not that. But then you start looking at yourself because there were other guys that were flirting with me, but I right away would push them away because I was loyal. Oh, you cheated on me. You're this, you're that. And I'm like, I didn't cheat on you. Wait, did I cheat on you? I mean, they start to mess with your psyche. And then you start thinking the things that they're saying are real. And it's really, it, I mean, it's traumatizing. But it got worse. I always defended him no matter what. And I was like, man, just looking out the window and just, and I remember just yelling, yelling. Then I remember him just pulling over real fast. I never responded. I didn't provoke this. I just ignored him. And he pulled over real fast. He grabbed me by my throat and he started to strangle me to death. And he had his hands. I'll never forget it. I remember just laying there looking up at him and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know I could, I didn't even try to grab his hands from my neck. I didn't even try to hit, to, to puncture his eyes with my thumb, the things that I know now, the things that you guys are learning at, at events like this. I didn't know that. And as he was doing that, I started losing oxygen to my brain. And exactly what Francis said in that, I, and I, the strangulation, I passed out. I don't remember what happened. All I remember in my head was saying, God, if it's my time, take me. Because to have your life in somebody else's hands is something I pray to God none of you have or ever feel in your life. Because it is no joke. I remember waking up on the side of the road. I don't remember what happened I came to. I don't know how long I was out for. But all I remember was I came to and I saw people walking towards me. And I was about five blocks from my house. And I ran, I ran home. I literally remember getting up and just running. And what do you think I found in front of my house? My ex, or my, my boyfriend at the time, sitting there on my stoops, crying. Why? I don't know. Does he, did he think he killed me? I don't know. But do you know what I did? I went up to him and I cradled him. And I said, it's okay. Yeah, what the heck was I thinking? I go back to that now, and I think, who was that person? Boxing was a gift from God, and what I did with it was my gift back to him. Because when I walked into the back, the nicest man came up to me, and he was Puerto Rican, Willie Soto, I still talk to him, and I hold him very close to my heart till this day. He came up to me and said, he goes, hi, you wanna try? And I was just like, okay, and it was a room full of men, okay? And I was just like, yeah, okay, I don't know what it was, but I felt like, I felt safe. I don't know if it was because I thought all these guys could beat up my boyfriend or what. I didn't think they were gonna beat me up. I don't know why, I just didn't feel that. I just felt like they were so focused on what they were doing. And then I just said, okay, I'll try. And I did, and I started working out every day. But it wasn't even, what the boxing did for me was a couple of things. You know, this, this event is called Empowered. So it empowered me. It empowered me because, you know, when you hit something, you feel something. You know, and I felt like I was fighting back. A lot of people ask me, you know, if you saw the movie Enough with Jennifer Lopez, did you want to go back and fight him? Did you want to? No, I didn't. Because it wasn't about him anymore. It became about me. Whatever your passion is, whatever it is that you find that you love, don't give up. It's not easy. And I say this especially to the young girls. It's not easy. People will tell you to quit. People, you're going to want to quit. You're going to find something and it's, it's just not going to be what you think it is. But if you love it and you find yourself being pulled back to it, keep doing it. Because I'll tell you right now that if I didn't keep boxing and I didn't keep moving forward, number one, I wouldn't have gotten out of an abusive relationship. Number two, I wouldn't be the woman standing in front of you right now. And I wouldn't have these belts and have these accolades and have sparred with Hillary Swank and all these things. There's really no difference between you and me. There really isn't. I just didn't give up on what I found. And if you don't give up on yourselves and what you find, trust me, the world, I mean, the world will open right up for you. The woman that you see standing in front of you right now that has the four belts that people see on TV and they see me, you know, with the boxing and everything that I'm doing, I wasn't always this woman. I was and then I wasn't for a really long time. But I found myself again.